Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we do the recording of today, that is 10th of October's God be blessing. Now think about it, what would you do if you knew that there are only a couple of days left for you to live? Maybe tomorrow is your last day. How will you live your life? Will you be sad or will you be staying in happiness? Depends upon your attitude. Now this attitude is learned over a period of time by facing challenges. And every soul has got different level of power within it to face any challenges. But the best thing is to live your life in the moment enjoy it so god is going to teach us today and it's going to explain us how to live like tomorrow is not there anymore so god says may you be an intense effort maker and stay constantly ever ready by considering every moment to be the final moment so ever ready how would you like to leave your body if somebody asked you let so god asked you how would you like to leave your bodies in sadness or in happiness so if you leave your body in happiness the next life, the afterlife will be in happiness. If you leave your body in sadness, with worries, with tensions, with why nots and how nots and who and where and what, all those question marks, then you'll be going with that same energy along with you. So what is the best thing to do? Right now is the moment to be happy no matter what. So God then over here says, the children who are intense effort makers consider every moment to be the final moment and they stay ever ready. That I can go, I can leave my body as a soul, as a spirit, as an infinite being. I can leave my body instantly right now. This body can fail right now and I'll have to leave this body as a traveler in this body. This body is also not mine. They have that belief firm in themselves. They do not think that there is still some time before destruction takes place. Destruction means complete transition. Now here God is talking about destruction of Kalyug and the re-beginning of the whole cycle from the golden age of Satyuga, which is about to come. And that they will be ready by then. Instead of waiting for the final moment, think there is no guarantee of when your final moment will be. Can you guarantee it? You can't be saying that I'm going to live till 60 or 70 and 80 years. It's good to have that good wish. But who can guarantee that? Nobody. But what we can do is, right now we can guarantee at this particular second that we are happy or not. Later on, that happiness will travel along with us in our body and also in our mind and emotions. And thus happiness will be there. And we might be able to live longer because of that reason. But then yes, the transition is just around the corner. Transition from hell to heaven. Kalyu to Satyu. God then says... Instead of waiting for the final moment, think there is no guarantee of when your final moment will be. Therefore, be ever ready. Let your stage constantly be beyond. Be detached. Beyond means beyond this world. No worries, no chinta, no thinking, no overthinking, no attachment to things, no attachment to outcomes. Be detached. Have good hopes, have higher hopes, but at the same time, be ready for anything. Be beyond, be detached from everything and loving to the Father. From money, from people, from things, from your clothes, from even your body, from your relatives, be detached. Expecting nothing from them and everything from the Supreme Creator. Only then it's possible to go into liberation easily. That means the last thoughts of yours will not be your things, your people, your money and everything. The last thoughts of yours will be the Supreme Creator, the infinite being, the infinite world. That's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You can learn it. God then says, be constantly free from attachment, free from sinful and waste thoughts. If you have attachment to anything, you can start blaming, you can start cursing people around, and that's sin. You can start manipulating things, and that's sin. God says, and waste thoughts can come. If I wouldn't have done this, if he wouldn't have done this, if he would, if he would have thought, Properly, if you were, if he or she wouldn't have done something like that, this wouldn't have happened. And these are all waste thoughts because we're going into the past and we're saying, if that wouldn't have happened, it's all waste of time. Right now is the moment what we can do right now, without blaming, and that's the way to live life. God says, God then says, when there is no waste, you will be said to be ever ready. When you're not living in the past, when your energies are not going into the past of whys and why nots, that's the time you are ready. If you leave your body thinking about the whys and the why nots, that means you're taking sadness with you. In the next afterlife, what do you want to take with yourself? 
is what matters because every day we can be thinking about that day can be a last moment when is your last moment can you declare it not yet right so do attend this seven day course at brahma kumaris and learn more deeply about it how to live your life with this om shanti